Hey guys, this is Matt with 4hydroponics.com and today we're going to be taking a look at the current culture nutrient lineup named Culture Solutions. Um, this nutrient lineup was created by a team at UC Davis and it was designed mostly for deep water culture users but it can be used in soil, soilless, and any kind of hydroponic system. Um, I do think it works the best with deep water culture system and especially with their system. The current culture deep water culture systems are awesome. They have all the problems taken care of for you, larger tubing, uh, bigger containers. Definitely check their systems out. If you're already using a deep water culture system and you're looking for a really simple, easy line to use, I would really highly recommend this one. Um, it starts out by keeping a sterile system by using their UC Roots product. Um, the UC Roots is basically water with a small amount of hydrochloric acid. Um, that basically acts as like a plant grade bleach. It's going to keep your system sterile at all times. Um, it's going to help uh, prevent from nutrient buildup and mineral lockout. Um, and then it's also going to let your roots you know, reach their full potential by giving them a safe environment to grow in. Um, if you are running in soil or soilless, uh, specifically soilless, you want to use this as your, as your leaching agent every couple weeks to make sure you're not getting any buildup of nutrients. Um, this is used in conjunction with the veg A and B through the early parts and mid parts of veg. And um, we're going to use equal parts of veg A and B. Now this has everything you need in it to get going. Um, if you are running RO water, which is what they recommend for the best results, you are going to want to add some kind of cow mag back in your water at about 5 mils per gallon. We're looking for about 100 to 150 parts per million of cow mag um, before we start adding our nutrients back into our water. Um, and uh, if you have good tap water that's only reading between about 100, 150, you can go ahead and just use that tap water and you don't need to add any extra CalMag. So these three bottles in early mid uh, veg are all we're going to use. We're going to use these in equal parts. We're never going to have to mess with the ratio this one or that one, you know, more of this, more of that. It's just always going to be equal parts. Um, and then in the last week of uh, veg, we're going to add one more bottle of this uh, early, sorry, early uh, uh, bud booster. And the early bud booster runs for that, just that last week. Um, it's gonna help us with the transition into flower um, and help uh, relieve some of that stress of that transition. Um, so then once we get into that first week of flower, we're gonna drop the veg, in a, uh, veg A and B out and we're gonna move to bloom A and B. And we're gonna keep this around for that first two weeks. Um, so these three for the first two weeks, um, the bloom A and B once again are used in equal parts and uh, you don't have to mess with any of the ratios and they're gonna have everything you basically need to uh, have a great happy flowering plant all through uh, flower. Um, they do make a couple boosters to help with those peak um, needs and those peak times. Um, so we're gonna keep that early uh, bud booster around for weeks uh, two and three or one, two in uh, flower and the last week of veg and then weeks um, three, four, and five, we're gonna get to the mid bud booster on top of the Bloom AMB. Um, this has zero nitrogen in it. This has a little bit of nitrogen to keep you green and help the transition. Um, but then when we get to those mid weeks, we don't really want any nitrogen or any extra nitrogen. So we've dropped it out and this is just high in phosphorus and potassium, which is gonna help with those mid weeks swell um, and help make sure you get those uh, you know, larger yields and keep those flower sets nice and stacked tight together. Um, and we're gonna run that for three, four, and five um, on top of the bloom A and B. And then for six, seven, and eight, and obviously that's depending on how long the cycle is and uh, your flushing process, we're going to run their late booster, uh, late bud booster. This is their powdered one. This is the only one they sell that is powdered. Um, once again, high in phosphorus, potassium, but the ratios have changed a little bit and that was designed to help with ripening, maturation, and essential oil production. Um, so we're going to use that last on top of the Bloom AMB, um, and then you can use this as a flush at about 10 mils per gallon for that last a couple days or up for that last week, depending on how long you flush for. Um, so uh, a couple tips too, like, uh, make sure you use um, some air stones in your system to uh, help prevent any kind of uh, extra bacteria or pathogens getting in there. Um, make sure your water temperatures are on point. Um, if you need to, get a chiller going because water temperature is a big part of it. The colder the water and the more oxygen, the better the nutrient uptake. Um, so just keep those things in mind. Um, once again, this can be used with any kind of hydroponic system and or soil or soilless. So all this stuff's available at 4hydroponics.com. I hope this video helped you guys out and we'll check you out next time.